Kitahu Kiakato Katao. Happy New Year, everyone. This weekend is a Matariki weekend in New Zealand. Matariki marks the start of a new year in the Maori culture. People gather, the stars align, people celebrate, reflect on the past, celebrate the present, and look forward to the future. This year's Matariki celebration is very special because this will be the first time ever that Matariki is observed as a public holiday. There had been talks in the past about making it a public holiday. It wasn't until April this year that the government passed it to law. So it is a really special weekend for Maori people and for New Zealanders in general. When celebrations like this come around, I get asked all the time, how do you guys celebrate New Year in your country? What marks the start of a new year? I'll give an example. In China or countries within the Southeast Asia region, the China, they have the Chinese New Year, which is marked by the start of spring. And then you have a lot of celebrations, firecrackers, dragons everywhere, and a lot of red colors, a lot. Because red signifies luck and good fortune in China. And that celebration is often a week-long celebration. You also have the Persian New Year, Noros. Noros, similar to um, Luna, I'm sorry, Chinese New Year, in the sense that it's also marked by the start of spring. But in their case, it's a two-week-long celebration. I have to get this right because I have a lot of Iranian friends. In the Persian New Year, during their celebrations, they have the half seen table which is a seven aces so that means that on the table everything that they put the food mainly would um a food that starts with s and even some other symbols you'll find like the coins the mirror and one other plant like that i can't seem to get the name but i'm going to put the name on my i'm going to put the name up so these are a few ways that people celebrate new year in their culture it's not the standard January 1st, as you would see. Here in New Zealand, Matariki is celebrated as the New Year. And Matariki is a constellation of stars that align. And these stars mean different things to the Maori people. You can see Matariki around the globe. But in the Southern Hemisphere, this is the only time that you see Matariki. Matariki is known by different names in other cultures. For instance, in Japan, Matariki is known as Subaru. Yes, that's Subaru um, car manufacturer. Mm -hmm. That symbol, that is Matariki. Matariki is made up of nine stars that symbolize different things for the Maori people. And these are what the stars of Matariki mean. Urangi is connected with the various winds. It's about bringing gifts in the wind. Waipuna Arangi is connected with rain, hail, and snow. So this star represents the weather. Tupurangi is a star associated with food sources that come from the sky, such as birds or fruits and berries from trees. So it's all about our forest and wildlife. Puhudukawa is the star that serves as a reminder of those who have passed on, those that we miss, encouraging us to take the time to remember them and acknowledge their impact on our lives. Whitey is connected with all the fresh water bodies, so it's about fresh water and sustainability. Whitey watches over fresh water environments such as the Awa, meaning rivers, Roto, meaning lakes, Kukuwai meaning wetlands, and Waipuna, meaning springs. Waita represents the Kia Moana, so that is the ocean and the seafoods that can be harvested from it. Hiwa Itirangi is all about our wishes and hopes and dreams. This is a wishing star, helping us to realize our hopes and aspirations for the coming here. Then you have Matariki, the mother of them all. This refers to both the star cluster as a whole and a specific star, which symbolizes gathering, reflection, and hope. 
So that is all about Matariki and what it represents to the Maori people and culture. I hope you've learned something new. For this year's Matariki celebration, I'll be heading to New Plymouth to attend the TSB Festival of Light. This Festival of Light usually takes place in December every year. But last year, it was being held because of hashtag COVID. So they made a winter pop-up. And what is the best time to do it other than Matariki weekend? So I'm going to head there and I'm going to make a video about it and put it on my YouTube channel. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button, turn on notification, like my video and also share it. So that will be all for today. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Namihi.